Have you guys seen this video of rapper Suki Ani admitting that she sold her soul to the devil and terrified crying out to God to help her? As far as this music stuff, I won't be doing this music stuff anymore. I started this because this is my dream. You know, I wanted to make sure I could get me and my kids out the hood. It's, it's always been my passion to rap. A while ago, I had signed a contract and I didn't know nothing about the business or the, or, or, the, or this game out here. And just like me, I'm not realizing that I signed my soul. I, I sold my soul to the devil. I signed myself to the devil. I don't even own myself no more. I don't, I sold my soul to the motherfucking devil and I done prayed, I prayed, and I prayed, and I prayed. You know, and it's just like, I don't know if God can get me out of this, you know, and very sad you know uh obviously feel for her her just coming to the reality of what she's done and not knowing if god can even get her out of this mistake that she made now after this she did go on to create a video which some people believe she was just covering up what she admitted in the video we just saw by saying that she was only just emotional and basically she made a bad deal a bad business deal with bad business people, but not with the devil. Now, whether or not that's true or it isn't, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. But the video of her crying out saying that she sold her soul really seemed legitimate and authentic to me. Now, for those of you who are skeptical about the whole selling your soul thing to the devil, there's just too many documented cases of entertainers admitting this themselves. Here's another case. These are the TikTok stars, the Island Boys, and one of the members admitted this exact same thing. Think not today, but about a week ago, I sold my soul. You know what I'm saying? And uh, ever since I sold my soul, I haven't been happy ever since. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't gotta believe me. It is what it is. I, I, like, I'm not even capping. I had to do it because I was trying to make it, like, you feel me? And as of when I was, th like, selling my soul, like, there was things that I could sacrifice about and stuff like that. And I sacrificed myself. I could have sacrificed anybody, but like, but when you sell your soul, you gotta sacrifice someone that you really love. And I sacrificed myself and stuff like that, and I did it. The demon asked me, uh, "You are you sure you want to sacrifice yourself? You can sacrifice someone that you love?" I said, "No." Nah. But when you sell your soul, you feel me? You gotta, you gotta. Um, it's not what how people say it is. You, you really gotta, you really gotta pick. You understand what I'm saying? And and and, and you get anything you want. You get to be rich. You get to have fortune, you get to you get to have everything, everything you ever wanted. I did it a week ago. I haven't been happy ever since. I've been having anxiety every single day. What did I wish for? To be famous and, have, and be rich. You ain't rich, not yet. It hasn't been done yet. It takes time. Now I gotta be patient. I got offered twice, twice. I've been off it twice. First time I didn't take. So there it is. You heard it for yourself in full detail. Now you'll notice a common theme in these videos and that's that once these people, it really, they process what they've done, they begin to regret it. That just sounds too real and too detailed to be made up. And unlike Sukiyani, this young guy never retracted his statement. Everybody who speaks about making this deal, they seem so depressed and so sad and so grievous. This is nothing new and has been going on for a very long time. You can even look up the legendary singer Bob Dylan's interview on 60 Minutes where he admitted to the interviewer that he sold his soul to get where he was. But what I need you guys to understand is this because I know there's going to be a lot of impressionable minds watching this video. What is the common theme that you see when these people are speaking about their decision that they made? They are all miserable. They all regret it. They have a deep regret inside for what they've done. None of them are happy at all. They're not happy. I sold my soul. Yes. Let it come up. Let that come all the way up. Let's tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I sold my soul for what? I sold my soul to have a life that I wanted that I never had. Yeah. A material life. And it's because they have sold their soul for material things. They've sold their soul for things that 
perish. They've sold the only thing that really matters for things that are going to perish. And when they finally get the money, finally get the fame, finally get the attention, they realize that it didn't even mean anything. It's not even really what they wanted. It doesn't bring them true happiness and fulfillment. So listen to me. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Take the example of these people that are speaking to you and letting you know how they feel when they realize what they've done. And I know people will say, well, why do they act like they don't care now? Now they're just acting like they're, they're living the life and that nothing even happened. They start making excuses because there's videos of Sukiyani. Now she's just, you know, in the entertainment world, being a rapper and living that lifestyle. Like she's nonchalant and doesn't care. There's a reason for this, you guys. There's a reason why people, once they break down and open up and admit what they've done, how afterwards it's kind of like it goes away and they brush it under the rug and they just go on about living their life and just living it up. There's a reason why they do this and it doesn't mean that they didn't really sell their soul. There's a reason why they take this approach and why it's kind of like it gets swept under the rug and they go about living their life like nothing happened and they seem happy afterwards. There's a reason for that. For those of you who don't know, I come from the music business so I have some insight on the topic that we're talking about. I also want to get into a personal story about how one of my close friends came to me, came to a few of us and began to tell us how he planned to do this for himself. I want to get into that. I want to share this personal story with you guys, but I'm not going to do it here. You're going to have to head over to my Patreon page where you can view the uncensored and full version of this video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. I will also leave the link right here. So head over, this is not stuff I wanna share publicly on social media platforms. So head over to my Patreon page and I look forward to finishing this conversation with you all there. As always, God bless you, Shalom.